Hello beautiful people. Today we are getting into something that has been in the making in my head since months. And will stay with us for a while. Prompted by a joke. What ever happened to sweet Daisy Lou? Her hoop skirt was a poop skirt when she couldn't find the I attempted to create my first at-home version of a hoop skirt. My poop skirt, if you might. First of all, I did not look for specific historical pieces to reproduce. I used the idea, the general shape and my overactive imagination and sheer will to create this monstrosity. First as it was possible, I cut out all the pieces. From, bed, from the best materials suited to a grieving widow, stout black linen. White petticoats are such a fad and I understand that, that it was the easiest to, to wash, the easiest to clean, but uh, yeah, don't tell me what to do. The bottom stripe is 240 centimeters, the Swiss waist part is 62 centimeters and I cut out some additional pieces to cover up my inevitable blemishes. I had this twill tape in my box for a while now, patiently waiting for a garment to be a part of. Now it's his time to shine. It was time for the bottom stripe to be bowed. It was quite a hilarity, like inflating a swim ring around myself. The biggest difference between my brainchild and existing historical pieces of hoop skirts that I couldn't find any example with corset waist fused, but I was adamant to make it highly adjustable. I have made mistakes before with drawstring petticoats, which are quite cut into my into my waist and cut my shape into half and I just I just don't like that. After cut, I running. Assembling the waist part and creating boning channels. I was planning to use tape boning on this particular part since the only purpose it serves is to even the pressure on my waist, not to shape. That's what the corset is for under it. Few pilot holes and I was that I was planning to overstitch. No today Satan. And it's done. We add exciting parts. The tape. I cut off 80 cm and repeated it till I had six long stripes, evenly spread out on the waist and stitched on neatly. This is going to give the body of a petticoat. I made a teensy mistake trying to be smart with a better boning and I filled the top boning channel with tape boning. The bottom channel got German plastic wear boning. I was stingy with the good stuff and the top got wobbly, but I hope that the bottom can hold up. Good enough. Next task was fastening the tapes to the bottom strip. It 
was not necessarily a problematic uh, mathematical task because I had six strips and my bottom was 240 centimeters in total, so go figure. Next is to fill them up with the good boning. It's not worth to be stingy at this point. I learned my lesson with the bottom strip not to be overly cheap, even if I am not sure about the outcome of this project. That's all for today, my dears. Next time, on to the dress.